Howdy, everyone. Well, let's see. So you've been watching uh, some time-lapse videos of this engine assembly, and uh, I've just got a couple observations. First of all, you've probably noticed that this stand is quite high. I've got, uh, I've got this little plastic step stool deal that I have to use so that I can reach up here on the top the different things that I need to work on um, on the accessory case. So you can see the top of that plastic stool is just about even with the top of this lower bracing base area of the stand. I think if the wheels were gone and even if that wood uh, base was gone and this stand just sat on the floor, that would be a pretty good height, I think. I think it's probably a, a good six or seven inches too tall the way it is right now. However, that's just for the accessory case work. I think it's a really good height for installing cylinders. If it was, if if this if the wheels and the base were gone and this sat down on the floor, it would be a good seven eight inches lower, and I think that would be a little bit too low, mildly uncomfortable perhaps to do cylinder installation. So, everything considered, I guess it's a fair compromise. Uh, the biggest consideration is, of course, it was given to me didn't cost me anything so I'll deal with the uh, the height problems uh, but other than that everything is going together well um, no issues no no surprises I had a mild a mild uh, I don't want to say scare because that's being over dramatic but I realized after I got the accessory case put on yesterday, when I was going back looking through my pictures, I had the accessory case off of the engine and it was upside down. And I saw a gear in this position here. There is a gear inside. And when I saw that photograph, I thought, oh crap, does that have to be installed first before the accessory case gets mounted to the engine? It didn't say anything in the written manual about doing so. So anyway, I found the part that bolts onto here, and it, it just drops in. Uh, apparently, when I took that picture, I just I took the accessory case off of the engine, but I didn't bother to unbolt this accessory itself. So it looked like with this upside down in the photograph, it looked like that gear needed to be installed prior to putting this on the engine, but that's not the case. So when I first saw that, I thought, I thought, oh, great, I'm going to have to take this apart and maybe screw up the gasket, and then what, have to stop while I wait for another gasket, blah, blah, blah. But, of course, that didn't happen. This just drops right in, gear and everything drops right in and bolt it down, no problem. So I'm going to get started again this morning. It's a little bit later start. It's a Sunday. Um, getting a later start out here than usual, but that's fine. At least I'm getting some stuff done. So I'm going to continue to uh, populate the accessory case with different things. I don't know how much further I'll go. I'm, I'm not going to throw the magnetos in yet because uh, I want to uh, look into them a little bit and get familiar with how they work. They're the P-Mags, and uh, I just don't know anything about them. I have to do a lot of reading. I have the manual for them. I have to read about them, learn about them, figure out how they work. I know there are uh, potentially some software updates that can be done. I don't know if that's something I can do myself. I don't know if they have to be sent back to the company to do that. I don't know if it's worth doing that. Uh, this engine is kind of like a time capsule, right? Like I said, it was built in 2012. It hasn't been touched since. So all the components, including the PMAGs and including the software at the time, were, were sufficient for this engine combination. So do I really need to change it? Do I really need to update software and things like that if, if it was okay then? So like I said, I got to educate myself. So I don't know how much further I'll go with populate in this case. You'll see there are a lot of open ports in different places. Uh, majority of those get pipe plugs or they get some kind of a fitting like a, like a 45 degree AN fitting or a 90 degree AN fitting. I want to populate all of those with the appropriate fitting of course but I want to buy new ones I want to get some uh, black anodized aluminum fittings I don't want to put the steel ones back in or the blue anodized aluminum I want to switch over to black I don't have any of that so I'll have to purchase those so those will not be put in anytime soon 
So I'm just going to continue to go through the manual and do what I can. Um, and once I run out of things to do on this, then of course I'll move on to the sump and probably the uh, cold air induction. At that point I can put on the, uh, the servo, the fuel servo, although I need to do some work on that, just like I talked about with the magnetos. Not familiar with this fuel servo. Got to do my research, got to do my homework, got to figure out if it needs to be, if anything needs to be done with it or if I can just clean it up and bolt it back on. You can see another, another observation when I had taped off let me get a better angle. When I taped the back the back side of this engine off again, I basically taped off all the machine surfaces because I figured something was going to mount to them. And I didn't think far enough ahead that the accessory case does not take up all of the flat machine surface that is on the, the crankcase. So I had gone ahead and taped all of this off. And now that I've got this back together, you can see all of this area here and here that is not painted. There's some here too, and there's some on the other side. So I don't know if I'll come back and touch this up with the blue. I'd even thought about um, the blue is all spray paint. I don't have any blue in a can that I can come back with a brush. I thought about potentially just painting these areas black. That might look kind of neat, might look stupid, don't really know. But I do have black paint in a brush that would be perfectly fine for this kind of an application. So I may paint these areas black. I may not do anything with them. They got a little bit of anodizing on them. Or uh, what's the other one? Not anodizing. Allodyne, potentially. Don't know. Not there. But again, just some observations. All right. So enough talking. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to continue on with populating the accessory case. And then uh, move on to the sump. Whatever comes next. And then... Uh, I'm going to start after this stuff is done, then I'll move on to reassembling the individual cylinders. I got to put the valves and the springs and the rocker arms and all that back in. Piston work rings and then start installing cylinders. So I'm going to set this back up for time lapse and I will talk to you guys later.